Well, this is a little bit awkward. For those of you unaware, let me catch you up to speed really quick. Last week, I did schedule to have a break from a BuzzFeed test, but I had a restaurant test planned until my brand new three week old iPhone 10 was lost or stolen, I don't really know. That of course had a ton of footage on it, it was not backed up anywhere, so we had no video. It's a long story, that's the short version. But we are back this week, better than ever. I'm in a fantastic mood today for some reason, for the first time in a while, because I am promising you this month, for the next three and a half weeks, I'm gonna put two videos a week up. It's been a while since I've done that, but it is time. This month goes out to all of you with spring fever towards the end of a semester or a school year. Hopefully this will help you power through it, get you through those finals, so let's get into this one. This week I ran a poll over on my Twitter to see what you guys wanted to see me do this week and just barely beating out the brownie bombs was the perfect chocolate chip cookies. Now if these can live up to, even a little bit, the perfect brownies that I've made 800 times on this channel, I will be very happy, so let's get right into it. So guys, the ingredients for these are pretty basic cookie ingredients, but there are some surprises. I grabbed some bread flour that I was able to find in Target, of all places. Some salt and baking soda, some butter, I know I'm supposed to use unsalted, I only have salted right now, let's move on. Some normal flour and white sugar, some chocolate chips and vanilla extract, a couple of eggs, some espresso powder, dark brown sugar, and a few dark chocolate baking bars. Now I'm gonna start with the brown butter first cause I'm most scared that I'm gonna mess this up. So you basically just have to take a cup or two sticks of your butter, let it come to a boil over medium heat, and then just basically keep stirring it until you start to see some browning happening. Now, unlike some other YouTubers who might have tried this recipe out, if there's a little bubbling that started to happen, I just pulled it off of the burner. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh, what the F just happened? It really was not that difficult. <laughs> so this here is what I think is brown butter. You just have to pour that back into a measuring cup and then add some cool water until it reaches the one cup line once again. And let that cool while we combine our dry ingredients. A cup of the bread flour, a little bit less than that of the normal flour, and then some salt and baking powder. I did add a lot less salt because the butter was obviously salted and that wasn't supposed to be. But I gave that a whisk and set it aside for now. And now we can move on to the main cookie base, basically. A cup of the dark brown sugar, a half cup of the white sugar, some vanilla extract, a little bit of our espresso powder, and then that browned butter mix, but make sure it is completely cool first. I mix this pretty thoroughly, um, at least for three or four minutes to try to get all that moisture to absorb in the sugar. You're gonna wanna toss in one full egg and then an additional egg yolk and mix that in as well and then finish it off with our dry ingredient mix, adding in a little bit at a time to prevent it from exploding all over your kitchen. And now all this pretty much needs is some chocolate chips and then that dark chocolate baking bar chopped up into chunks, folded in together, and it smells great, it looks okay, but it's definitely not as firm as Tasty's was. Theirs was a nice, pliable, kind of formable Play-Doh type dough, where mine was a little bit more runny. And because of that, I basically covered it up and set it in the fridge for a couple hours to let the flavors develop, but mainly to let the dough firm up a bit. And now all that's left to do with these is bake them in a 350 degree oven. On some parchment paper, I spooned about two or three tablespoons worth. I used a ice cream scoop for this because I figured that would be a little helpful. And they came out looking decent. They do have a nice little brown and crispy edge, but they're kind of really dark. They do smell great though, so let's give them a try. I really do like the addition of the chocolate chunks because those melt a lot more for whatever reason than the, the chocolate chips. These do kind of look like a, like a, either a star-bought or a bakery type of cookie, maybe a little darker, but. I think I messed up. <laughs> the chocolate is 
absurdly bitter. And I already know it's because my stupid behind used 100% cocoa dark chocolate. Why? I'm an idiot, basically. They're also really rich and kind of greasy a little bit. I feel like that the butter mix might have messed it up as well. I kind of expected to get punched in the face with sweetness, but you really don't at all. I'm kind of surprised. Um, I guess let's just see what some other people around the house think of them. Disgusting. <laughs> Odd. That's a nice way of saying vomit worthy. No. As you're about to wipe your tongue off. Is this me supposed to be eating one? Mm-hmm. Mmm, delicious. It was totally my first one I ate today. Apparently not everybody hates them. What? Now because I do feel like most of my complaints were my fault and very easily correctable, I'm gonna give these one more go, but I'm definitely gonna head to the grocery store beforehand and get the, the proper stuff. First up is the chocolate. Not this devil 100% cocoa bitter garbage. Um, this 60% stuff should do. Um, we're also gonna need some kosher salt because I've read in multiple places that kosher salt is way different from iodized salt. And of course, we're gonna need some unsalted butter. Not right now. Some unsalted butter. All right guys, back to the kitchen. You guys pretty much know the drill. Um, I just whipped up some brown butter with the unsalted butter this time. Brought it back to a cup with some cool water. Combined all my dry ingredients. Threw everything together in a big bowl, this time with the proper salt. Eventually with the proper chocolate, which won't make these so grossly bitter. I only refrigerated these for about an hour this time around and kind of just spooned on the batter onto my parchment paper. And after I baked them for the same amount of time in the same temperature oven, these are looking pretty much the same, if not a lot better. The one big difference I forgot to mention when I was baking these is I used equal parts brown sugar to white sugar. So about three quarters of a cup of each one just cause those came out really dark and I don't know, maybe it made a difference, who knows? I'll give you guys a comparison. Does it look any different? Um, I think so. I think these look a little bit better. That's the one. Chocolate's 100 times better. They're soft and chewy, but they have a slight crispiness around the outside. Um, that brown butter pungentness isn't so strong in this one. Just the chewy texture of this alone is, oh my God. Them. I'm definitely gonna be remaking these in the future, that's for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's BuzzFeed test with a redo at the end. If you did, slap a like on this one. As I said, I have a brand new restaurant test coming Sunday because for the rest of this month, I got two videos a week. Follow me over on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I'm not sure which one of those I'm gonna do the next poll on, so follow me on both and keep an eye out. Other than that though, have an awesome weekend and I'll see you right back here on Sunday. That didn't work. What you making? I'm making shrimp fondue. Are you alright? Oh my god. I thought we were going to have to end up in the hospital. I'm here trying to make cookies for the family. And you're tripping down the steps. So there was this girl who tried
tried this recipe herself, and at one point she had this pot on the burner, and it was like boiling over, and she just kind of sat there and watched it as it burned her whole countertop, her stove, and mm -hmm. she got roasted for it in her comments. So I want to send her a little, <laughs> a little shot. Maybe it'll start another comment war. Oh well. <laughs>